Those parking lots surrounding Ball Arena, they will soon be a thing of the past. Cronky Sports and Entertainment, the owners of the Nuggets and Avs, want to reinvent the space, and they have already submitted plans to the city. Denver 7's Brian Wang breaks down what's in this proposal. Hey, good evening. Let's go ahead and start off with the space developers are going to be working with here. We're in the middle of the 55 acres of empty parking lots here at Ball Arena. Just take a look at how empty this place looks right now and compare that to this rendering of what the Cronkies hope it will look like once the project is finished. Taking a closer look at their vision, the Cronkies really want to create a community with this 55 acres they own. Developers say it will include retail shops, apartments, five bridges, 10 acres of open space, 10 different bike paths, each one mile long. And some of the renderings are pretty awesome. The Downtown Denver Partnership says this place will attract thousands of residents into the area. The Elitch Gardens RTD light rail stop will expand through this area as well. My biggest question is how is this project going to impact traffic in the Spear and Wewada area? If you've ever been here during game night, it is an absolute nightmare. Traffic is stop and go. Well, the developers told me that they are going to create an overpass in this area where pedestrians can cross. I also spoke to the Cronkies spokesperson and he told me that the project is gonna take at least 10 years to complete. Right now, the project is in the early review stages by the city. That review process includes the Cronkies hosting a bunch of open houses for people to come and share their thoughts, which have been positive so far. Reporting outside of Ball Arena, Bayan Wang, Denver 7. That would be a huge change, especially with all the greenery they have planned. Well, let's bring you a different perspective here. The Colorado Public Interest Research Group, or COPERG, raised some questions about transportation near Ball Arena. The city has a plan called Denver Moves Everyone to add frequent rapid bus routes to in the city. And four major routes pass through this area, but COPERG says they don't go far enough to connect with each other. We know that a lot of people you don't just go down one street. You don't just stay on one street. You need a network to be able to get around. And if we have this transformational fast and frequent bus lines going along, it can create that network for people to be able to jump on and off buses to get to where they need to go. But those bus lines need to connect. Denver's 2030 bus rapid transit plan is taking public comment through March 3rd, and Coburg hopes residents will raise these concerns to close the gaps.